Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're gonna review the the Evil Dead Ultimate Ash from NECA. This one as a, was, a, was available the last weekend at Target. Um, not sure if it's gonna be available somewhere else. Don't quote me on that. That was a special they did that weekend. Um, other than that, I was lucky to get one. Box is not super perfect. Man, again, I'm gonna open it. I don't, I don't care. You know, the last one they had anyway. They're already flipping them for double the price on eBay, unfortunately, or Mercari, anywhere else. But as I can say, the packaging, I think they want to kind of um, mimic an old videotape uh, VHS because there is a sticker on the side, fake sticker, says horror. So I'm assuming they want to kind of imitate the old school um, VHS. Again, that's my impression. Um, going on the side, they got, of course, a picture of Ash. And of course, this is being made for the um, 40th anniversary of the Evil Dead. Really cool, like I said, there's a little damage over here on the bottom. Not a big concern, again, I'm gonna open it, I don't care. But on the back, there's a little bit of bio about the movie. A couple of pictures, uh, the possible uh, way that you can display the figures. And that it comes with three inter interchangeable heads, a chainsaw, an axe, a shotgun, a lantern, uh, tape players, and I think two extra hands. But we're gonna open it and check. Really cool packaging, I like it. Um, like I said, that's pretty much the cover of the, the movie, or the poster movie. Um, on my VHS to, to check how it looks like. I think mine, the DVD has a different cover. That being said, classic uh, NECA box. Sorry, I'm gonna drop everything. <laughs> classic NECA box, really cool picture inside. I'll show you X and Ash, sorry, how you can display and everything. Um, that might be a possible option. Um, three different heads, like I said, and a little bit extra accessories. And that's it. I think that will give you an idea how it looks like. So while we go, while we don't go ahead and unboxing it, be right back. So anyway, guys, I went ahead and I opened it. As that's the figure that looks like. I put all the accessories on the table. I'm gonna show little by little. Okay. So first of all, it looks pretty cool. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in the face. There you go. Perfect. As you can see, uh, very good uh, camera. No, helping me today. <laughs> Uh, very good resemblance with uh, Bruce Campbell, the younger Bruce Campbell, of course, with the scar on the chin, actually, very accurate. This is more like a face, like looking around, very serious. I like the denim jacket, uh, shirt, sorry, that has wedding. Could work on the sculpture or the pants, too. You can see all the little edges and everything. The shoes are actually very movie accurate. Of course, the two pegs on the bottom, if you want to display with the NECA stuff. Like I said, very good job of a little bit of dry brush, highlights on the pants. Very accurate on the back, snowability of all the figures from NECA, legs and everything. Really like the face cup, very, very reminiscent of him. I was skeptical about it, and then I saw him in person, actually it's way better. Let's put it here for, for now. The two other heads that I come with are these two. Well, more like a surprise expression. Like I said, for like the other one, didn't I mention, really good job of the sculpt for the hair and everything. A little bit of uh, beard. And that's the other one, surpri surprise face, really cool. I might go for this one, it's looking around, like scanning, if you see anything. Cool, 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 cool. It has two extra hands, so you can pause with the different um, pieces that it come with. We have a lamp with a really cool uh, flame effect inside. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's over there. Really cool chainsaw with the NECA logo. The one that he's gonna end up using in the movie place some of these arms, but I'm gonna tell you too much. Of course, that's in the second one. Um, other than that, really cool uh, series. Double X, cool. Old school shotgun, that's gonna become one of the trademark. This is still intact. It's gonna get saw and uh, up in the other chapters. The tape recorder, um, this, I don't think is the same one that come with um, the Evil Dead, the other Devil Dead. I got two sets from Evil Dead 2. It might be the same table record, I don't see why they should have made a different one. Um, I don't think it spins or anything, but it's cool. Really good detail on it too, paint details too. I like it. And X, so, chainsaw, so like I said, everything has some, forgot to mention, some nice dry brush effect on the on the metal, and also on the, on the color part, like red, really cool. Same story for the X, you got a wood effect, wood grain effect on it and some red brush on the axe sides and the shotgun of course really accurate really good movie um really good movie a classic 
I do like the second one a little better, I gotta be honest with you. And of course, Army of Darkness, which I don't have. A th I do have a figure, so I take it back. It was one of for NECA, um, I do recall what they were calling them. They came out a couple of years ago with a background and everything. And I bought a Chicago toy show. So I have for pretty much the entire, if you will, the entire series of movies. Um, nice selection of extra parts. Worth the money if you can find it. I don't know, unfortunately, if you'll be able to. There's the one on the shelf. Big thumbs up. And um, might do showing a picture on Instagram something I'm gonna display and take some picture out, outside like I did before. As always, um, this was a quick review on the Evil Dead Ultimate Ash from NECA that you can find at Target. And as always, thank you for watching. God bless you, God bless America. And feel, feel free to subscribe, like, and whatever else.